All right, here we are, video three. This is our last video. Um, I would rather have um, a large tent where um, I can actually set up chairs, and I have one, but um, it's it, the Lord doesn't want that one, okay? I'm not exactly sure why, but he doesn't want that one, and plus, I can't carry it because look at what they're doing to um, to these you know to, to, to these to these suitcases all the suitcases everything that I have on wheels they destroy if I purchase a vehicle on wheels they destroy it if I purchase a, a trailer they destroy it anything that I have on wheels they destroy I don't know what devil or demon is in John MacArthur in this Haitian family but it's like you know the name Duclaron is not allowed to be independent you know the the, the um, the, uh, the Declaration of Independence, right? We hold these truths to be self-evident that men are created equal and endowed by their creator with alienable rights. Well, when it comes to Kevin Duclaron, um, according to Gabriel Franklin and John MacArthur, and now this British monarch, whoever the heck she is, um, you know, there is no equality. There is no independence. There is no going back to, to school, seminary, graduating, and, uh, um, you know, finding a wife, a woman uh, uh, of my... You know of my own faith who believes and you know getting out of this situation you know this is this is the situation that they have me in right now and normally it's just one of these uh, suitcases in a backpack but today I have to make the un unbearable decision of um, cutting down this one uh, to put it in the trash because it doesn't have a wheel and it's also broken on the inside so anyway um, I think that's pretty much it I like I, I don't think anything anything else Lord or no that's it they, they don't have anything else for, uh, for me to report just keeping you up today keep me in your prayers uh, and um, that this right here you know like I said earlier that I would be able to meet with two or three other Christians you know um, where when I don't know um, we've got I guess parks that we can get together at um, and if God gives me a bigger tent if they don't mind kneeling or sitting in a folded chair we could do it that way too I have an extra chair uh, but I don't want the um, immorality to be the thing that they you know they emphasize on I'm not here to suck anybody's genitals you know this is this is ministry to the glory of God this isn't ministry to the glory of their flesh I don't want my ministry to be centered around a man's genital I want my ministry to be centered around um, God's message right God's message and um, God's Word you know through the Holy Spirit and if his word and his message is not what we um, we are emphasizing then you know it's not gonna it's not gonna work you know it's not gonna work at all anyway um, I think that that about sums it up for me um, and uh, that's pretty much it I will talk to you later let me pray real quick here um, and pray that God would do his work in um, maybe establishing a, a firmer foundation a firmer uh, a building rather than this right here uh, and of course this is not a one-man job you know this is not uh, all about me 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 Kevin you know look at all th what that I'm doing um, it's it's about you know it, it takes a missionary one person to go out there and share the gospel um, you know bring, uh, address the issues and um, address the, the, the problem right this is the problem here the lack of repentance and faith um, and what God has to say uh, to the New Testament saint and also the Old Testament uh, saint uh, through Psalms and Proverbs and all the other books and also obedient Christians that aren't going to be intimidated by the fact that I'm a Haitian Cuban. You know, obedient Christians that are going to say, yeah, we can come alongside you. We know that you're preaching the gospel and, um, and, and just affirm. I mean, you know, Paul says to the church in Galatia uh, that... Uh, it was Peter, Cephas and James and John who laid hands on him and who gave him the right hand of fellowship. MacArthur is literally with this Haitian woman and these people are m making sure that I don't get the right hand of fellowship. And I'm like, I don't, get, I don't get this. I'm not preaching Satan. I'm not preaching demonism. I'm not asking for a billion dollars. I'm simply trying to continue. And this man is forever, you know, ho you know, it, it's almost like hands open wide, arms open wide and saying, no, don't let him through because he's not a European, you know, don't let him up uh, uh, out of this, uh, out of this, you know, position where nothing is going to be accomplished. You know, if this is as far as a, a minister goes, nothing is going to be accomplished here. Uh, the pastorate is not going to be, uh, you can't disciple anybody in here. 
the pastorate is not going to be here. Nobody's, I mean, I'm cramped with just a, a cot. You know what I'm saying? A cot and a table and a chair. Um, let alone trying to bring another human being in there. And I don't even understand how they can, how they, I mean, how embarrassing it is that they would even have to lower themselves to, to even come to this. But in any case, um, right on the other side of, uh, you see where it says red, right works there, that red building, right on the other side up the street there is a conglomerate, conglomeration of the homeless. And of course, on, on the south side is the same thing. And um, so we on this level can't accomplish these things um, as well as we can. I mean, we can relate the, 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 the gospel, the message, and then walk away. But for, for a shepherd to have sheep, okay, this right here, is th this pastor position is the shepherd's position. Okay, and in order for a shepherd to... to um, in order for a pastor, a shepherd, to shepherd the flock of God and exercise oversight, uh, it has to be, there has to be a place where you bring the people. Uh, when I went to uh, pick up this extra suitcase, which is no different than this one here, um, I was reminded uh, candidly that there was a group uh, meeting. Remember I showed you the red building? There was a group meeting directly across from my storage facility uh, where there was an established, it, it seems like they're just barely getting uh, established within the last three or four months. You know, uh, I don't know, there's probably maybe 50, 50 to 100 people there. The Lord did not call me into that ministry. He told me to keep going. Um, but there has to be, when you, when you are a shepherd and you go to market to buy sheep, um, and remember, Jesus is the, is the main shepherd who, who, who bought us with his blood right uh, according to hebrews it was by his blood that he purchased us uh when i'm preaching the gospel to the world right when i'm preaching the gospel to the city of portland over there um i have no idea who the people are that he has purchased with his blood um and who who are the people that are believers that's why i keep coming out and giving them the message right and it is those people who believe that will come to a place that has been uh, purchased, uh, a place where I, I'm, I'm at. Uh, you know, like, look, look at these yellow buildings, right? You see the Miller Paint building right here uh, and that building right there. So it, it has to be a, a place where uh, Christians, um, you know, where, where Christians can meet, you know? And I just want you to show you something. See that building over there with the green blocks? Uh, there, there's a, look at the snake that has been lifted up. Big white snake right over there. A big white snake. You see that? Behind the Miller Pink is a big white snake. That's that's how they give it to Lucifer. You know, I mean, how scary is that? You know, it, it's like here the devil's being exalted, uh, uh, lifted up. You know what I mean? And, and 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 here's the opposite, which is the Holy Scriptures. Here's the Scriptures, and and here's the serpent right there, the serpent of old, right, whom we call Satan. But anyway, um, and so you know, in order for for me to shepherd a flock, right, in order for a shepherd to shepherd a flock. Um, you have to have a, a sheep pen somewhere to keep them right somewhere to keep them from the wolves somewhere to keep them from the hirelings somewhere to keep them from the serpents uh, and I can't do that in there you know what I'm saying I can't bring sheep in here if I'm gonna if God has called me to be a, a, a pastor a shepherd uh, to remember what he said to Peter in John uh, you know shepherd my sheep uh, feed my sheep feed my lambs uh, and how am I how have I been doing that outside this way right and how I have how have I been trying to collect um, you know, tithes and offerings from the church, it's this way, right? And so, you know, um, it, it, it's a hard task when there's nobody cooperating. It's even harder when nobody is believing. You know what I'm saying? When nobody's believing that this is the will of God, this is the work of God, and you're stuck this way, and you only have one group, one group that keeps hitting you and cutting you down, but there's not one group that's lifting you up and holding you. Remember, Moses when um when moses was in the wilderness uh joshua and aaron held up his hands right one was on the left and one was on the right um i i, I kind of need that i kind of need a joshua and an aaron i kind of need a uh like paul he he had a a, 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 a the, the, the word that's coming, coming to my mind is Silvanus, but he had a Silas and he also had a Timothy. You know what I'm saying? Ministry cannot be done by one person only, you know? Um, Philip was an evangelist, yes, but Philip was not trying to plant a church. Whereas for me, uh, this is what God had put in my heart while I was at Master Seminary sitting in that chair. Uh, and to see that the president himself would oppose me to this level is disgusting. You know what I mean? Three, uh, three different states, the whole Oregon, Washington, 
you know, Washington, Oregon, and California, you know, and it's like, man, John, what are you thinking? You know, I'm beginning to think that Bob Jones University uh, was in there, was in his right for, for, for judging you the way he did. Anyway, um, I think I've said enough. You understand my dilemma here. Um, I need those people removed. I need those people prayed out of that situ out of that position, so that God and His Son could step in and uh, and remove me out of this tent um, tent here. I can pray here. I can read the Bible here. Do my ministry here, but I can't minister to others. And ministry is others. You know what I'm saying? Uh, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. I can't marry somebody in here. I can't do baby dedications in here. Um, I, I, I can't do baptisms in here. Uh, I can't do communion in here. By myself, yes. Maybe with one other person. But when we gather to, together collectively, you know? Um, for some reason, I keep thinking that the Lord wants a 24-hour gym here. Um, and I'm thinking, boy, it would be nice if we had a church here instead. But anyway, I will talk to you later. Uh, and let me just pray quickly. Father, I pray for this hour and ask that you would bless this ministry and remove me out, of, uh, out, on, out from under this persecution that I've been enduring for the last uh, 30 years. I pray that you would remove grace and bring in a new flock of people, new elder board, uh, new uh, church uh, pastorate and, and leaders and seminary. May you uh, bless this ministry through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.